Why is it still snowing out? Today is Tuesday and we have been getting snow since Sunday morning. So originally the forecast said that we were due to get probably five to eight inches, maybe another one or two the next day. And we have gotten 15 inches at least minimum. I have shoveled twice and now if you can hear there is a snow blower running in the back. One of my neighbors, I'm going to flip the camera around. And we're going to take a look through the curtain and just so appreciative for this neighborhood. So let's get on the road right after the driveway gets cleared. I have a four-wheel drive. That's why I drive a Jeep and we're going to get to Goodwill and see if they're open. They were actually closed yesterday. Yesterday was Monday. So hopefully the shelves will be loaded. No worries. I'm a super careful driver and hope you guys are all staying safe and warm. All right, let's get on the road. So I did get to Goodwill. This is the big Goodwill that I usually film at and there is no one in the parking lot. They are closed today. That's what the website says. But I'm going to check back with them later because usually when we have this type of weather but the roads are clearing up, sometimes they will open half the day. But for this morning, instead of going back home, now that I've made this big effort to get out of the house, I am going to take a drive over to Home Goods, who is open. I called and I checked that they are open. And I'm going to peruse the shelves there and see what I can find to flip for a profit. So I do retail arbitrage, but I try to make sure that my buy-in price is not too high. I have to run comps almost on every product. But let's take a ride over to Home Goods and see what we can find. And then maybe we'll come back to Goodwill if they decide to open. Okay, so we are just at Home Goods, and the parking lot is quite empty, but the store is open. So I'm going to go in and check out clearance aisle and see what I can find to flip for a profit. All right, let's go in. I think any excuse to come to Home Goods is always fun. One of my favorite stores. I'm not even in the door yet, and I'm noticing this beautiful piece. I love a good octopus. So this trip is going to be a mix of me getting sidetracked with every sparkly thing and also looking for items for resale. I have thrifted, or I shouldn't call it thrifted, I have shopped a lot at these types of stores and found things to put in my eBay store. I have done linens, stationery, food products. Um, what else have I done? Small tchotchkes. Now the one thing that I really keep an eye on is how heavy an item is. Because even if my buy-in price, as she looks at rocks, is low, sometimes the weight of shipping the item is going to kill the sale. So I start out by looking at geodes and different onyx crystallized rocks. Look at this beautiful piece. Oh my gosh, so pretty. $30 and the thing must weigh a good four pounds. So for me, because I charge my buyer shipping, I have a tendency not to buy anything too heavy, especially in this type of situation. I feel like coming to one of these stores is not only helpful to find things for retail arbitrage, but also helpful for me to understand what might be trending in home decor, what these stores are putting out because I think any big store that is successful puts a lot of research into what the buyer wants. So that helps me learn what the buyer wants. So I love going up and down the aisles. Here I'm looking at a beautiful shell box. I do sell seashells, try saying that a couple times fast. And I think I've sold a few boxes. $17, still too high. Of course, this aisle is not clearance, so in a little while you'll see me really zero in on the clearance aisles. Now, a lot of times Home Goods and TJ Maxx puts their clearance either on one aisle in every department or on the end caps, depending on how much product they have. I loved this little frog dish. I didn't think $10 was bad, but again, by the time you ship it, if it goes across the country, that's like an additional $8 to $10 minimum. So you really have to have a low buy-in price for something heavy. 
Okay, so this is the first item that is really catching my interest. And I'm thinking it's not too heavy, not on clearance. This is $13, but my mind is now thinking, can I get 30 out of this and also have the buyer pay shipping? And I felt that was probably an option. Now, will most people across the country want an Illinois license plate birdhouse? I wasn't quite sure, so I did put it in my cart to think about it. These different animal heads were really popular a couple of years ago. I don't know if they're trending as popular or as hard as they were, but I still like to keep an eye on the price for them. I find that different items made out of beech wood a lot of times sell very well and they're light. So if you can get beech wood or, you know, that type of item at a really good price, I go ahead and pick things like that up. A lot of people like beach house decor, and I use that as one of my keyword titles. This caught my attention. Celestite. Not quite sure what that is, but really sparkly and pretty. Okay, I'm a sucker for lavender, I have to admit. $20. Here I'm looking at a topiary. Now topiary, in my opinion, is still popular. People still like this kind of shaped plant. $25, a little too high to flip. I'm not quite sure what decor topiary goes in. I'm thinking English, library, I don't know. So if you have seen topiary specifically in one decor, leave a comment down below. Okay, here I'm showing you what the clearance signs look like in the store, and I love the way they post them above the shelving. So you can pop your head up and kind of spot them throughout the store. $3 a piece for these dinner plates had my interest. This is Strawberry Street. In my opinion, Strawberry Street does not ever bring a high dollar amount. Now, if I find Strawberry Street in the thrift store and it's a pretty pattern or, you know, a nice dish, I will go ahead and pick it up. Rock My World mugs, $3 a piece, too high. I thought this was cute, best wife ever. Thought that would be great for Valentine's Day. Now, I don't list seasonally. I list everything all year long. But today is the second that I'm seeing this. So by the time I buy a Valentine's Day item or something that I think will appeal to people shopping for Valentine's Day, that would be cutting it close, especially with the slow shipping. So like I mentioned in Home Goods or TJ Maxx, Ross, any store like that, I have to comp almost every item. When I say comp, I look at eBay and I also look at Amazon because you have to remember if there is a large amount of something on clearance, you have Amazon people looking too, Amazon sellers, I should say. So they become your competition. Whereas in thrift stores, I don't know if that's always the case because it's a lot of one ofs. I really like home goods floors. <laughs> They're very pretty. Okay, lots of dishes in China. I do look at the patterns to see what patterns are trending. Always a lot of botanicals. This was beautiful. But almost always I don't buy heavy China or dishes for resale. $10 for this wood. I don't know what we call this. Just a trinket dish. I guess it could have been a spoon rest. I think it was just a, an occasional dish, I'll call it. Okay, can we talk tree slices? <laughs> I love a good tree slice. And it turns out that these tree slices were carousels or turntables. Oh, I thought those were so good. I wouldn't mind that in the middle of a kitchen table 
with like sugar creamer and all kinds of fun things on it. I have an obsession with things with movement. Like I love my furniture on wheels. I love a good turntable. So at this point, even though I'm only probably a tenth of the way in the store, I feel like it's going to be a very slow go. Here I'm showing you again how they post the signs. Did a little zoom in with my fingers on my, this is my phone that I'm filming on. I was kind of overtaking the whole GoPro or the regular camera after, you know, just getting ready in the snow and, and all of those types of things. So here I'm looking at the food aisle and see the amount of bottles of this skinny syrups, this keto friendly product caught my attention right away because you can do one listing and just list the variations of flavors or even one listing and just buy one flavor. So I do run a comp on those. I'll insert that screenshot here. Most times food products I'm noticing are free shipping. So you really have to build to that price in. And again, if something's heavy, very hard to accomplish and make any kind of decent profit. Anytime I find honey, if there are a lot of jars of honey, I would definitely sell honey, especially with many people, you know, staying in place, sheltering in place, still a lot of shutdowns. Anything that's like a staple that people really love and don't want to live without, I'm a big honey user. I would definitely buy honey online if I could not get to the store. Now, would I order it from a grocery store? Probably. But because honey is such a gourmet type product, even though it's an everyday usage for some people, I think a lot of people have a tendency to buy specialty honeys online. That's just my thinking. Look at the amount of food on clearance. Just crazy. So I thought this honey was really beautifully packaged. I liked the aesthetic of it, which with honey or a type product like that, if it has nice packaging, it doesn't hurt the photo op at all. Taking a look at this dish rack, it had no tray underneath and it was on clearance for $14. You really have to have that color going on in your kitchen. <laughs> I know a few people who have aqua in their kitchen. Okay, here's Ray Dunn again, $5.99. Somebody must have put these down on the clearance shelf. These were not on clearance. As you can see, most likely for St. Patty's Day, $6 a mug. No room for profit in my opinion. Now, when I say no room for profit, I am really talking about by the time shipping is added in and your time and your packaging materials. So you really have to take all of that into consideration. And here were a lot of personal care. We're in the bath and body part of the um, store. Rose water hand sanitizer. I expect probably by next year, our stores are just going to be inundated with any kind of sanitizer, mask, or anything that we've needed for the pandemic and we no longer need, hopefully. I mean, we'll still be using hand sanitizer, but I think most families will go back to maybe using just a little bit more than what they were normally using. Just a guess on my part. I think people will be so tired of it that we're gonna see a lot of this abundance in the stores. I think you're seeing the masks already. Masks have come down in price phenomenally. In the beginning, we were all paying $10 a mask and now you can get four for $10. And naturally, I would not be picking these up for resale. I'm not shipping these away too big, but I do love a good basket. I'm all about organization. So I always like to see what's out there. Kind of liked this laundry basket, which I don't need. Not quite sure what that has to do with anything. <laughs> the store was really well stocked. So right now for my own personal use, I am looking for a few new things for my office. I'm gonna paint the office and spruce it up a little bit. I spend so much time in my home, you know, with running the business out of my home that sometimes it just gets a little schleppy. When you work from home, you know, the house really gets a lot of use or overuse. If I went out to work each day, I think the house would stay a little bit less used, but I am probably gonna overdo or, or do over, I should say, a few rooms. 
So when I look at linens, I look for the trending names like Ray Dunn, Kate Spade, the names that people decorating their home really look for. Here's Kate Spade here. I also look for adorable prints, anything with like um, peanuts, you know, Snoopy, anything like that, unicorns, any of the trending little characters. Now these, of course, were not on clearance, but I have found Kate Spade on clearance and I have done very well with them. Ralph Lauren, I've sold, trying to think of who else. Tommy Bahama, I don't do as much as the two prior names I just mentioned. But, I mean, if it's cheap enough, I'll buy pretty much any decent brand. A thousand count ultra luxe sheets. I definitely would have picked those up, even though they were heavy. $30, way too high. I'm going to say if that was under $20, I probably would have picked that up. Now, I'm not saying it would fly out of my store, but antibacterial sheet set. I don't even want to talk about that. I don't even know what that's about. <laughs> I think we're going to see, you know, antibacterial everything. Okay, 25 for Kathy Ireland Home Essentials. I really thought Kathy Ireland used to be in like Kmart or one of those discount type stores, wasn't it? I'm not even sure. I have to say, I do really like a high thread count sheet set for my bed. Okay, now we're down in the wall decor aisles, I'm going to call this, and we are on the clearance aisle. Now, these things would be too big for me to ship. I'm really over shipping big items, but if I found something reasonable enough, meaning probably under $7, I'm going to say, I would go ahead and pick it up if it was something good and flip it on Facebook Marketplace. And for those of you who might have missed my prior video, I think it's one video before this, maybe two, I did a whole video on Facebook Marketplace, how I'm doing well on that platform. Not sure why my camera turned pink right there. So right now to film these videos, I'm using my GoPro, the Hero 7 Black, I also use my Canon M50 and I use my i8, which is such a delight because there's no battery to change, no chips to run out. I thought these were really good. This textile was like thread, it wasn't embroidered. I'm not quite sure how they did this. And I really thought these were good. I thought these would appeal to quite a few buyers, $40. So yeah, that's not happening. All right, so getting back to what I was saying, cameras. So deciding what camera to use, a lot of times if I've had a busy day with thrifting, because I am a true reseller, you know, I'm, I'm juggling both. I will go ahead and just film on my phone like I am doing today, just not to get burnt out from the whole situation. <laughs> And we are on to carpeting or rugs, I should say. Home goods rugs, I think, are one of the best places to buy a rug. So that's just my little commercial for home goods. I always look here when I'm looking for a large rug, sometimes for throw rugs too. I think they do a really good job with the price and with the quality. I've always been happy with every rug I have bought from Home Goods, and I have bought rugs from West Elm, very high-end rugs that were on clearance, of course, you know me, guys, but they did not hold up as well as the Home Goods rugs. So here I'm just looking at rugs because I am shopping for a new rug for my living room. I've had mine for, oh goodness, quite a while, and um, the one in my living room right now is from West Elm. Not so happy with it. And I will be flipping that one on Facebook Marketplace and putting the money into getting a rug from Home Goods. Not quite sure what I was looking at there. <laughs> Something caught my attention. So 
here I decided to flip through the rugs. I was going to shut the camera off so you guys didn't have to look at all the rugs I was looking at. But I figured for those of my friends and watchers and followers who might be stuck at home and not shopping, you might want to see what rugs are in Home Goods. I love the way these rugs are hung. It makes it so much easier to flip through them than when they are laid on a pile on the floor. So thank you, Home Goods. This was beautiful. I'm considering this. Now this is a 9 by 12. That's why I zoomed in. I would like a larger rug for my living room. Right now I have a 9 by 12 and there's quite a border of floor around my rug. So this is in the running and I want you guys to vote for which rug you like best. So we're going to call this one number one and hopefully I will ask Lisa to put a number one on that screenshot. And here is choice number two. Now I think you guys have seen my living room. If I remember, I will try to put a screenshot of my living room. I do have like an olive brown couch and chair, not my favorite color. Um, and I've had those forever. <laughs> I'm too cheap to get new furniture. Not too cheap, it's still in good shape. But I can work grays in because my walls are gray. And do I have a third choice? I can't remember. I liked this one, but I felt it was too brown. And I'm trying to get away from that olivey brown color. This one was a little busy for my taste, so we won't even put that in the running. Very textured. I thought this was very different. Not my taste, but I thought that was very unique. I haven't seen a rug like that. Again, a raised pattern. Here we have clearance, but not really a lot taken off. So some of the rugs that you'll see the $2.99 price on, I have seen at $1.99, but truthfully, the patterns weren't great. Okay, I love this rug. I don't know that that would work in my house. I am all over the place with this camera. Again, textured. This was quite odd, quite different. I shouldn't call it odd. I thought the pile on this one, this was pretty, but I think every barb and everything would get caught in it. Okay, this geometric pattern, if I had more modern furniture, I kind of like that. It's kind of like geometric eye cat something all mixed in together Norwegian. Really pretty in real life. $2.99. And it was done in kind of like grays and creams. So... Again, that won't go in my house, but I kind of liked that. And I think the sizes of the rugs start to get a little bit smaller. Okay, I love this one. Again, this doesn't really go with my living room, but it's that washed look. Do you guys like that washed look? It's still very, very popular. You see it on Instagram a lot, $2.99. I don't know that I like the burgundy color, and it had some blue in it. But that might be in the running. Okay, let's make that number three. What do you guys think of this rug? And you guys vote of which one you think I should purchase. Okay, we are finally out of carpeting, out of the rug section. I can get lost in that section. And we are on to hassocks. Is that what this is called? Ottomans. Hassocks? Puffs. Something like that. I love a good puff, but you know, a lot of these are made so low that to sit down on it at 60 years old, yeah, I don't want to get back up. $50. That's crazy. Pretty though. Okay, so now we are back, back focused on clearance for retail arbitrage. And I think my fingers were covering up the price and I kept looking for the price on this. It's like, Karen, move your fingers. $11, way too much. Now, like I said, guys, when I find something that I'm seriously considering, I always run comps. That was a little space heater. It 
See, so you can see the original price on that um, scent, on that fragrance, was only $2 off. I like to see things that are half price or less. I really wanted to stand there and sniff candles all day. <laughs> Sniffing candles is right up there with looking at rugs for me. But I'll spare you because you guys couldn't sniff them with me. We should really get like smell a vision. Smell video. I love a good candle. Okay, more clearance. So the stores still have a lot of clearance. And I don't think this is left over from them opening back up, you know, after the shutdown. But I could be wrong about that. Ray Dunn, paper plates. I am so over Ray Dunn. And I have been selling a little bit of the Easter things, so that's good. But I didn't pick up a lot of the Ray Dunn Easter items. I have been selling the pillows. What else have I sold? Uh, well, you can go to my store and sort by sold and see what Ray Dunn things have been selling. Okay, dresser knobs. If I can find good furniture knobs, I always pick them up if they're a good price. But these were $7 and it was missing a knob. If these would have had that last knob at $7, I would have picked those up because so many people are repurposing furniture. So if you can find a good knob at a good price, I say yes. Now, again, you can run comps if you feel unsure about it, but I almost always pick up furniture knobs. On this next clearance end cap, I come across this aromatherapy shampoo for pets. So I see multiples of them, and right away the first thing I do is put them in my cart because I have a strong feeling that this is something I'm interested in. So I've learned to always take whatever they have while I'm running the comp. And I'm here seeing one last one in the corner. Now these are different um, scents. One is a rosemary mint, and I think the other one is a tea tree oil. So I have five of them there for $3 a piece. And here I'm gonna insert a screenshot of what this is selling for on Amazon. So naturally, I put them back because there's no room for profit on these either. So in the end, I come away with nothing for resale. I did pick up one tchotchka, I'm gonna call it one decor item for myself, which was $17, not horrible, but I really don't know if I like it in my house as much as I liked it in the store. I find that sometimes when I'm looking at things that are on the shelf in the store, I think I find them pretty because it's all grouped together with all like items. And then I bring it home and put it in my house. It's fun to try, but there's a chance I will be returning that also. Okay, so today was a big bust, <laughs> and sometimes that happens, but always good to get out and see what's in the stores. I did find a few things in Home Goods that I liked, and I will be sure to put some screenshots of what I did buy and what I'm thinking of buying. Home Goods, in my opinion, is always worth the look. Their prices are great and they have beautiful things. Sometimes it's more for personal use than for flipping, but always fun to shop there. Thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours.